Hey there, you're welcome to another tutorial and SC2 so I'll be showing you how to get the perfect vocal reverb if you use FL Studio to mix, alright? So right here we have our lead vocal, let me play it right here. Alright, so now the first thing we need to make sure um, it's correct if you're going to be using reverb in your mix is making, making sure your tempo is correct, okay? Right here, our tempo is 96 BPM and if you don't know how to find your um, tempo for your beat or your instrumental, simply open up your browser and visit this link called tunebat forward slash analyzer, okay? And just click it right here and you're going to have this place you can drag and drop your instrumental or your beat into it and it's going to tell you the key and the tempo all right so since we already have that figured out set at 96 okay so the next thing we need to do is create a send and to create a send in fl studio is pretty easy just come to your main lead vocals after it's linked to your mixer okay then you click this arrow next to it any of the empty tracks next to it and if you don't have an empty track next to it you can just highlight an empty track from um, the mixer, maybe insert, then just hold your alternate and your left arrow key or your right arrow key to move it to the direction you want it to go to, all right? If you're using Mac, instead of alternate, it should be option, okay? So it should be option on your left or right arrow key on your keyboard. So right here, we have this empty insert, okay? So we just send it in here, making sure um, it runs through it. So after having our send created, the next thing we need to do is go to another website again called um, reverbcalculator.com. So right here we have the website reverbcalculator.com. You can really use any reverb calculator online. They are mostly free, okay? Just type in your tempo 96 and then hit calculate and you see some numbers come up and it's really easy to use, all right? So right here we have the hall and the big room. Most times I recommend you use either one of these two for your vocal reverb especially for the modern style mixes, okay? So I'll be using the big room presets. And if you observe, we have the pre-delay, we have the decay time, and we have the total reverb. But what is going to really concern us is the pre-delay and the decay time, okay? So for the pre-delay, we have um, 39.06 milliseconds. And we, for the decay time, we have 2,460.94 milliseconds. Now, you may not get this exact number in your reverb plugin, but try to come as close as possible. And also, some plugins may not have um, milliseconds for their decay time. It may be in seconds. So if that's the case, simply divide it by 1,000. So that should be 2.4 um, milliseconds. Okay, so let's see how we can use this in FL Studio. All right, so we just come to your inserts. That is your... Um, send let's rename this so it's easy to remember reverb send for lead vocals you can name this you know any way you can remember so we just come right here and then load up our reverb okay so this is a stock reverb that comes in fl studio in most versions of fl studio i think it's in every version of fl studio so you should have access to this if you have fl studio so you can see we have our delay and we have our size okay we also have our wet and dry so we're going to come to um all of these parameters soon so if you observe it says uh, 39 for the pre-delay so come to 39 right here if you look at the top left of your screen you can see the milliseconds adjusting so you can also hold control or a mark command to have like that fine timing okay and then observe we have decay time two 1460.94 okay but if you observe our decay is in second not millisecond so we just simply divide that number by 1000 so that is 2.46 and if you observe it's just 2.6 2.5 so and 2.4 so you can just approximate it to the you know nearest decimal so which is um 2.5 just a little math going on but it's really easy okay then you want to increase the room size to the max so that there's um reasonable diffusion from the reverb so it sounds more natural and since it's the sand you don't want the dry okay this is the dry unaffected sound so we take this dry out and we increase the wet to 100 percent so that all we hear is just the reverb effect okay you can see if you look at the top left of my screen it's at 100 percent although this is um you know unnecessary but i like to take out the bass in the reverb plugin okay and then when i press play this is how it sounds when I say I need you, I'm hoping that you feel the same We don't want to hide you I just wanna love and fuck you in different
Now, it sounds like you know, it's washing into the vocal, but we can fix that by simply adjusting the send. So come to your main vocal, okay? You know, when you click your main vocal, you, you remember we sent it into um, this path right here. So when you click on it, you can simply just reduce it. When I say I need you, I'm hoping that you feel the same. We don't want to hang you. I just want to love and fuck you in different ways. Because nobody do me better. Mad for your matter. Scatter my dada. Spend on my rubber. Would you let me be your lover, lover, mad? Now, the amount of scent typically depends on you and the vibe you're trying to create. But for most times, I usually stick within 10 to 40 percent, okay, for the um, vocal scent, okay, into the reverb, for the vocal reverb scent, okay. So that really depends on you. But 10 to 40 percent, typically, the lower the number, you know, the more dry the vocal sounds. When I say I need you, I'm hoping that you feel the same. We don't want to hang you. I just want to love and fuck you in different ways. Cause nobody do me better. Mad for your matter. If I turn it off, when I say I need you, I'm hoping that you feel the same. We don't want to hurt you. I just want to love and fuck you in the food. If I solo it, when I say I need you, I'm hoping that you feel the same. We don't want to hurt you. I just want to love and fuck you in the food anyways. Cause nobody do me better. Mad for your matter. Scat on my dada. Spend on my rubber. Would you let me be your lover, lover, mad mother? And when I turn everything back on. I she came in my life And everything turned brand new to come to ride But come to fly Make love in Miami Oh my leash, I leash all up Make you give me a right up So you can hear how the reverb just follows the vocal right at you know the perfect timing because we use the reverb calculator to get the pre-delay and the decay time set so it doesn't wash into the vocal so that's one of the easiest ways to create you know your vocal reverb all right so if you want to learn more on how to mix your vocals to get that polish that you hear on most of your favorite commercial songs you can get our course by clicking the link in the description of this video and you're going to get access to the course and we can take this a step further okay by eqing the reverb all right because sometimes when you rever when you use um reverb effects it does tend to reverberate the frequencies all across so we can take out most times i recommend you take out some low frequencies maybe um below 500 hertz so just come right here type high pass then just take to about um 300 to 500 heads most times. Time, she came in my life, and everything turned brand new to come to ride, but come to fly, make love in Miami. And if you want it to be, you know, be more um exaggerated, you can just boost the high frequency a little bit. We hear it sounds now. Time, she came in my life, and everything turned brand new to come to ride, but come to fly. You can hear how the vocal reverb sounds a lot brighter when the EQ comes in and, you know, it takes away some body from the reverb, right? It makes the reverb sound a bit thinner, okay? So you have to be careful when you use an EQ to adjust your reverb, okay? You know it's to sound too thin, but we just want to take out some, you know, unnecessary frequency from the vocal reverb, okay? You may not want it to be bright. Sometimes you may want your reverb to be dull so you can, you know, cut out the harshness. If you notice your reverb is having a lot of harshness, you can simply just cut it out with um, the frequency, or with the equalizer as well okay so you don't always have to boost so this is typically how you can get a really clean and good reverb um setting for your vocal regardless of the genre you're mixing on okay so if i play the whole thing again time she came in my life and everything turned brand new to come to ride but come to fly make love in miami oh my leash i leash all up make you give me a right of us do me nicely Spend my time with you. This one will be a prayer for.